Well, guys, this wasn't really planned, but um, we got a new locomotive to review. And it's a fantasy scheme. A legendary livery scheme, in fact. Let's take a look at the Atherin Genesis SD70 decorated for Rio Grande right now. All right, guys, we're ready to take a look at this uh, Atherin Genesis uh, SD70. Uh, now, this is the uh, the Spartan Cab variant of this locomotive. <clears throat> so, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, and also, it's in a uh, fantasy scheme. It's decorated in the uh, Rio Grande scheme with the uh, large flying Rio Grande layers. I just love this scheme. So, I know fantasy schemes aren't for everybody. Uh, there's a lot of people that don't like these. Uh, but there's a lot of people that do, uh, myself included. Uh, of course, I like both prototype and fantasy schemes. I always kind of like the uh, what if side of model railroading. But anyway, uh, we digress. Um, let's just go ahead and get started with the um, with the box. Of course, nice sturdy cardboard box. Very nice looking box as well. Of course, it's got the Athens 75th anniversary logo on it. Nice gold trim lettering on here. Uh, now, I believe uh, Athern is changing the box uh, for the current run of locomotives that's uh, getting ready to come out so uh, these dark blue boxes are kind of kind of becoming a thing of the past uh, so really so it's a really cool thing they got here but um, but yeah really nice uh, the Atherin Genesis in the gold letters looks really good little gold pinstripe that runs down the side but um, looks good as well but the, uh, the box is nice and sturdy uh, should protect them all very nicely in storage and transport. We will go ahead and lift the top off this guy here like so Lay that off to the side right there. Of course you got some uh, documentation with your uh, tsunami soundtracks guide right here uh, basically gives you the basics on how to operate the sounds and the uh, Lighting features that these locomotives will possess. So that's really cool Really nice there. Of course, you got the uh, exploded instruction sheet for the 70 series. Uh, that includes the Spartan cab here. In case you need to order any parts, you got that as well. And you got the uh, Ather newsletter sign up deal here and a warranty card. That's what this thing is, is a warranty card. So that's all good. You got your paperwork. Got a little foam liner here to add some extra protection. And inside, we've got. The locomotive resting in a nice protective clamshell with foam handrail protectors on here. You got a nice uh, slip cover right here as well. Again, it should protect them all very nicely in storage or transport. Um, so that all looks really good. So uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and take them all out and start uh, start reviewing this guy here. So hang on just a second. We'll be right back. Okay, just uh, one thing real quick I want to show you because this is something I have not seen in uh, past Atherin releases. Check this out. They started uh, putting the truck protectors in the uh, packaging on the front and rear trucks on these locomotives now. That's really neat. Uh, that was something Atherin has not done in the past uh, with uh, past Genesis engines. Now what these do, these, uh, these protect the trucks from swinging back and forth and possibly come, uh, causing damage to some of the details. It's... Uh, present around the uh, truck side frames here like the sanding lines um, and other small details so uh, really cool that Atherton's uh, included these so uh, I just want to show you that real quick now let's get to reviewing the engine okay we're ready to start with the review on this locomotive so let's just go ahead and start with the front so right here you got your nice snow plow looks very good I like this uh, this orange shade right here it looks really nice uh, there's your MU cables right there. Looks very good. And these are uh, kind of simulated rubber air, uh, MU cables, so they will resist some handling. They do flex a little bit, so that looks very nice. Uh, you got your uh, McHenry coupler right here, and this is kind of one of the uh, the weakest parts. I think I feel of the Atherin Genesis series are these uh, are these McHenry couplers. Um, they're not the worst couplers ever made, but uh, if you're going to pull like long heavy trains with this engine. Uh, I would highly recommend swapping these out because they will fail under uh, pretty high stress. 
Um, um, so yeah, if you, like I say, if you're all pull long trains with them, I would highly recommend swapping these out for either a KD or uh, your choice of metal coupler. Here's the other uh, set of MU cables right here. Looks really good. Um, there's your uh, train line brake line hose right there. Here's this uh, red jumper cable that comes down uh, off the uh, front pilot here. Looks really good. Looks very, very nice. There's your front ditch lights there. Looks really good. Uh, here's the, uh, on the nose, the nose stropping looks really nice. Looks excellent on this engine. Uh, and there's the uh, Rio Grande spelled out there on the nose. Looks very, very nice. Uh, come up here to the top. Um, the window glazing all looks really good. Uh, has separately applied windshield wipers that uh, you can see right there. And I'll try to zoom in on that. A little bit more where you guys can see that so yeah there you go so um, yeah separately applied windshield wipers looks really good right there and there got some uh, grab irons right here and on the side of the nose as well looks really nice love the orange highlights on the front steps too uh, that looks really good right there so uh, I like that a lot of course you got your headlights right here there's your number boards and by the way, uh, LED headlights and ditch lights on the yellow locomotive as well. So that's really nice right there. So we'll uh, back back out. Kind of get one, one last look at the front here. Handrails look really good. Nice and straight on the front and up the sides to the cab here. Looks good. Uh, you can see your antennas right here as well. There's your cab air conditioner right there as well and we'll we'll get a better look at that one flower the top of this engine too so that looks really really good so all right we'll uh, come down the side here and we'll just go ahead and start with the front trucks so details on the trucks look really good uh, by the way the step details look look really good too with the uh, white highlights on the steps Right there, it looks very nice. You can actually see the little light right there. Uh, somebody that's uh, pretty clever um, doing lighting stuff can uh, hook up some LEDs to that and make those function, make it look really nice as well. Uh, however, from the factory, they do not function. So uh, just FYI there. Um, like I said, truck detail looks very good here. There's your, uh, they got separately applied shocks, struts, brake cylinders, Separately little uh, detail parts right there. Looks really good. Um, and you can probably just make out the sanding lines right here. Right there looks really good. Of course, you got some uh, sanding lines back here as well, as well as it comes off the from, from back behind the truck right here. You might can just barely see those right there. So those look really nice. Uh, you got your up to the top here where we can get a better look at the cab of course you got your cab number there looks really nice as well uh, cab windows here uh, they, these are sliding windows and you see clearly see they're in the open position got a little got a cab interior right there looks really good sun shades look nice there's a better look at the uh, antenna and the uh, air conditioning unit right here dynamic brake fan looks really good uh, you got this grill back here this is see-through by the way so that looks really nice. Um, the steps comes off the back of the cab here. Looks good. And there's the windshield wiper there on the uh, rear glass right here. And you can probably see the orange highlights right there. Looks really nice as well. So that all looks really good. And by the way, a lot of nice labeling right here. Looks good. Uh, this all is readable and legible under magnification. So that looks really good. So we'll come down the side here to the fuel tank area and I'll kind of zoom back out where you can kind of get a look at that large Rio Grande right there on the side. So this, th this is one of my favorite paint schemes uh, in railroading. This, uh, re this particular iteration of the Rio Grande scheme, uh, this just looks really good. Uh, I, like I said, I kind of killed two birds with one stone. I, I always wanted one of these Rio Grande engines and I also 
I'm also a fan of fantasy schemes as well. So I, I so this is a win-win for me. Uh, I know fantasy schemes aren't for everybody, but uh, the, the to me they're just awesome. And this is a really nice one right here. Um, so yeah, I kind of checked off two boxes. I expanded my fantasy scheme fleet, and I got a real grand engine. Can't beat that. So anyway, uh, with the fuel tank details. You got your fuel filler neck right here, looks really good. Uh, your fuel sight gauge right here looks nice. Of course, you got some uh, other little details. Maybe a little hard to see because of the black paint on this engine, but uh, there are some other little details on the fuel tank. Looks really nice as well. And that really nice looking Rio Grande lettering there on the side. Just stunning. Love that. Got some other little uh, warning labels right here as well. Looks good. You got your uh, air horn right here. That's really cool. Um, uh, might notice it's kind of mounted backwards uh, from the normal orientation, but uh, uh, I've, that's how Rio Grande did a lot of their engines. So, uh, so that's uh, that's a pretty cool little touch there. I like so. Um, or I say that that's in videos I've seen. That's how. Uh, a lot of Rio Grande's engines actually looked so with their with the air horns on their locomotives so um so yeah I thought that's kind of a nice touch so we'll come back here to the back again more truck details right there you can probably see those uh sanding lines a little better looks really nice back here again more separately applied shock struts brake uh brake cylinders and other little details here looks really nice and uh, on the prototype, uh, these are what they call steerable trucks. So how they function is as the locomotive goes to a curve, uh, each one of these axles will, will steer itself through the curves. And basically that reduces the rail wear and also um, allows the locomotive to grip the rail better for uh, more pulling power. So uh, that's, a, uh, that's a really cool... Uh, truck design right there and uh, it's 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 something i like quite a bit so um so yeah uh back here you got your brake wheel looks good and you got another little uh, road number right back here on the rear that's a cool touch right there as well again those step highlights on the rear look really nice as well the white highlights on the ends of the steps there and you can kind of see some of that walkway tread on the rear back here it looks really good as well so we will come to the rear here and I'll zoom back in we'll get a look at the rear of the locomotive here again nice MU cluster back here on both sides looks really good there's your brake hose right there your rear jumper cable again McHenry coupler right here looks really nice handrails look nice and straight as well back here and you got rear ditch lights as well and those uh, I believe do function in, uh, as well there so that's really cool come up to the top here there's your rear headlight rear number boards grab irons here look really good very nice and we'll come back to the other side of the locomotive and pretty much same same story second verse a lot of nice details on the uh on the rear truck here as well there's look those uh, Q fans up here on top that will get an even better look when we fly over the top of it. Grill detail look here looks really good even though this isn't see-through back here, but uh, it, it's very nicely molded right here. Looks really good. Come to the front area of the locomotive. And there you have it right there. So there's the cab windows again. Looks really good. Your wind deflectors right here look nice. There's your bell right there. So I'll zoom in where you can kind of see that. But uh, yeah, right, right there, there's the bell right there. So looks really good. Fuel tank details all look nice on that side as well. And we'll come back to the front and there you have it. There's a look at the uh, Atherin Genesis Legendary li Liveries Rio Grande SD70 really cool engine so uh, 
Before we take this thing out to uh, do the sound test on, because it is equipped with the Tsunami 2, I did neglect to mention that at the beginning of the video. So this is DCC and sound equipped. Uh, let's do a quick flyover over the top of this guy, and then we'll head out to the layout and try it out. So hang on just a second. We'll be right back. All right, we're here to do a quick flyover of this engine. So uh, we'll start here at the front. You can really see that uh, walkway tread right there. It looks really good on here. So and you better look at those uh, grab arms on the nose as well. Um, looks nice. There's the uh, antennas and the uh, air conditioning unit on top. Of course, there's the uh, dynamic brake fan. Looks really good as well. Come over the exhaust hatch right here looks really nice and it is also see-through as well so that looks really good there's a look at that horn looks nice rear Q fans on the rear look really nice and you see the uh, fan blades in the uh, underneath there underneath the uh, grill looks really good very very nice there's that rear grab iron on top just behind the fans looks good and there's the rear so all right guys there's a quick flower of this uh wonderful looking sd70 by the way uh, i did neglect to mention that i love the orange highlights on the uh, steps that come off behind the cab there that looks really really nice right there i like that so all right there's a quick flower of this uh, sd70 what do you say we uh, head out to the layout and do the sound test on this thing We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're uh, here at the layout now, and uh, we're ready to do a sound test with this engine. So uh, bear with me just a second. We will plug in the layout and fire this guy up here. So hang on just a second. Let's go ahead and get that done. And you hear it uh, going through the startup sequence. And there you go. So, sounds really good. The Tsunami 2 sound, uh, sound decoder. Really like this a lot. So, very, very nice sounding engine. So, uh, let's go ahead and turn the headlight on. There's the headlight on right there. Looks really nice. So, we'll turn the ditch lights on. I think this should be function 6. Okay, that didn't turn them on, so it should be fun. There we go. Function 5 turns on the ditch lights on these. That looks really good right there, so really like that. So let's blow the horn. Or actually, let's ring the bell first. Ring the bell. Bell's a little quiet, but uh, still sounds really good. Blow the horn. Now three short toot. All right, we will take this guy forward here. Let's see, I'm fixing the cars and I'm pushing forward just a little bit. There we go. So let's take this guy forward just a little bit. And you see, it's moving at st speed step one. Whoopsies, hit a dead spot in the track. Speed step one. Very nice and slow. So yeah, really nice here. So I'm going to reposition the camera and we'll take a look at the uh, rear ditch lights right quick. So hang on just a second. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We, uh, we got the camera facing towards the rear of this locomotive. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse right quick. And there you go. The rear headlights are on. Uh, rear ditch lights should come on as well. Here. Well. Oh, okay. F6 turns on the rear ditch lights. Okay, that's cool. So uh, F6 activates the rear ditch lights on this engine. So that's a really neat touch there. So there's your front and rear ditch lights all lit up. So we'll go ahead and back it up.
Then we'll red will activate the uh, dynamic brake. So just press F4 again. So yeah. Really nice engine from Athens. <clears throat> really good sounding and performing engine. Um, yeah, really love this thing. So, um, all right, guys, I'll take a look at the read on this on this uh, Athern Legendary Liveries Rio Grande SD70. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye for now. And we'll leave you with a run by too with this thing on a train. So hang on just a second. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.